Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a image uploader, editor, downloader, saver with pure JavaScript that also in a single project itself. So how it is going to be happening as I have not provided you any kind of a demo, it is going to be really a simple thing. We'll be having an input for selecting the image. Once the user selects the image, we'll show an image with an image cropper in which the user can zoom in the image or the user can crop the image, edit the image as the user wants and he can click on a save button to save that image and preview the edited image on the right hand side of the cropper. And if the user likes the image, the user can download the image itself by clicking on a download button. It's simple. All right. So before starting the video, I will introduce you to my new YouTube gaming channel. It's my second channel. It's all about gaming. So over here, the link of my gaming channel will be provided in the description below. And the name of the channel is Bobby Game Changer. In this channel, you will be getting streaming funny moments gameplays. As you can see over here, there are some gameplays with steering wheel over here. I will not introduce much about it as you can see over here that looks really good same we are having more multiple shooting games adventure games and open world games as you can see out over here all right so without wasting any more time let's jump right into the video over here as you can see i'm having a simple html file in which i'm ham ham in which i am having some CSS and some JavaScript file imported. These are two CDN JS for normalizing and one is for cropper. And the second JS file is for the cropper. Okay, so over here I'm having a simple heading and in my CSS file I'm having a simple code of font family sans serif. So now let's start writing the code. So over here I'll just provide a good comment that is going to be main section starts and main section ends. And the most important thing I notice over here is that just give me a second. Uh, I really don't know how can I provide a comment in this JS fiddle. So let's keep it simple. Okay. The source code for the project will be provided in the description below on this JS fiddle.net website. And in this, you can even copy the source code. And if you want to make any changes, you're free to make changes in it. And even through, you can even see a live demo before watching a tutorial video. That's nice. Okay, so now let's come over here. And the first thing we are going to be doing over here is that we're going to be creating a main tag to which we'll be providing it a class of page. In this, we'll be having a heading of our application and we'll name it as upload, crop, save and download. download great let's save it and as you can see we have a beautiful heading being displayed over here that's great after that we will be having a button for uh, inputting a file so for that we are going to create a diff with a class of box in this div we will be having another div with the class of file input In this div, we are going to be having an input for selecting the image. So the type of the input will set it to file name, file input, ID, file input, and set a class for styling it. We'll name it as file input double underscore input. Great. And as you can see over here, we do have a input file. Once we click on this choose file, we do have our file explorer being opened. That's nice. Good. After this, we will be having a left box and a right box. In left box, we will be having the cropper this being displayed. I mean to say the result and in the right, we'll be having the cropped image being displayed. All right, 
so for doing that we'll come out over here and i will create another div to which will be providing a class and that is going to be named as box hyphen two all right and in this we are going to create a div which is going to be having a class of result simple that's it now let's come out of this box too and now let's create a write box so for that we create a div to which we will be providing a class of box 2 and even will be displaying the image result so i'll be providing a class of image result and hide because by default this div will be hidden once the user edits the image and saves it we will be just displaying out this div with the result so now the result for the cropping image we're going to display it over here so we'll select the image and we will select a class we'll name the class as cropped source is going to be empty as the user is only going to be selecting it out and the alt text is also going to be empty great that's it now let's have an input file for adding a width to an image so once you crops the image as you can see once the user crops the image and clicks on a save button we can see the preview of the edited image over here if you want to change the size of the image if you want to increase the size width and height of the image we can have an input over here for increasing the height and the width of the result image so for doing that we are going to be coming over here and we will be creating a div with a class of box In this box, we are going to be having another div with a class of options and hide. As by default, it will be hidden. Once the user saves the image, we are going to display this input box. And in this, we'll be providing a label to that input and we'll name it as change the width of the image. And after that, we'll be having a cool looking input. The type of the input is going to be number. We will even set a default value. The class of this input is going to be image hyphen width. And the value by default for the image will be set up to 300. And the minimum is going to be the minimum value for changing for this width is going to be 100. And the maximum is going to be 1200. Let's save it. And as you can see, this is the width for changing the results image size width and height if you want you can even do the same thing for height but width will make our work done okay after that we are going to be having two most important things and that is a save button and a download button so we'll be coming out of this box now let's create a save button so we'll select a button some stylings we can provide it manually so what i will do i will just change the font size of the button text and i will just keep it like for 16 pixel and the class of the button which is going to be button save and hide the button by default will be hidden and the text of this button is going to be safe looks good so after this we're going to be having another button but in this button we're going to keep it as an anchor tag because we wanted to download the image so the class of this button we're going to be keeping it as button download and by default this button will also be hidden from the css file by using this class and the text of the button is going to be download all right guys that looks really really good so it was really a simple html code it's not lengthy code it's like maximum 20 or 15 lines of code less than that okay so now we will be working with javascript other than working with css file don't worry because first i'll be showing you how can you add a functionality how can you add the life to your application to make it work once it's working fine then i will be showing you the css for styling your application so let's come to the javascript file and first let's see whether it is linked with our html or not so for that i'll just get a simple alert of test okay it's working we can see an alert over here test great okay so now what we are actually going to do over here is that we are going to be selecting all of our classes in a result variable so let's create a variable of result in this we are going to be using the document.query selector 
and first I'll be selecting the result class. Then I'll be using the comma and I'll be doing the same thing for selecting my image result with height for the image option, save, crop, download and file input classes. So I will just fast forward this in which I will explain you. But before fast forwarding, I will explain you what I'm actually going to do. Now I'll create a second variable. I'll name it as image result. Okay. That equals to same thing I'm going to repeat. So what I'll be doing is I'll be copying this document dot query selector and I'll paste it over here and then I'll be selecting the class for my image result with the beautiful dot before the class name and end it with a comma. Same thing I will be doing with all of my classes. So now I'll be fast forwarding this video for saving the time. All right, guys, so now we have created all of the variables and selected their classes by using a document.query selector method over here in pure JavaScript. So now we are going to be having a two functions to make this application work. Yes, guys, I think so you are shocked, but it's really true. It's going to be really simple. So first we are going to be having is the upload. So first we will be uploading the image into our application so for that we're going to be selecting a variable of an upload dot and we're going to be adding an event listener to this button okay so once the user clicks on the button we are going to be changing okay and we're going to call a function over here okay so what i did is this is upload a button is it's a file input so once the user clicks on that we are adding an event listener to change the image over here so over here we are going to be using the if and else loop if our e dot target dot files length what we are actually do going to do is we're going to create a variable of reader in which we are going to be using the javascript function and that is file reader to read the file then we are going to be selecting our reader variable and on the load of this reader we are going to be calling a function okay in this function we are going to be using the if loop in if we are going to say if e dot target dot result how we are actually going to be selecting it and how we are actually going to be displaying it in our application once the user selects the image of course we need to display it in our application in our front end to be edited and saved and downloaded so in this we're going to create a variable of an image in which we're going to store the selected image so we are going to create an element over here and the element is going to be the image tag then i will be select adding an image id to style it that is going to be an image and the source of the image the main thing the source of the image will be appending a child so e dot target dot child all right keeping in mind it's not going to be ended with comma it's going to be ended with a semi semicolon because the small mistake can cause you an error later onwards then we're going to select our result and we'll add an intern inner html over here and we'll set it to empty then we'll append a child to our result that is going to be our image tag after that we are going to be selecting our save and we'll be adding a class list to it and that is going to be remove a class from this button and that is going to be the height class that we have added to not to show our button right so we'll just remove that class once the user have selected the image same thing we're going to be doing with our options we are going to remove the height class from our options button file input i mean to say file input and then i will be selecting my cropper and i'll add create a new cropper over here for cropping the image a crop editor so and in that we're going to select our image once that's done we'll select our reader and we'll read it as data url and i'll set its target to files with the index number of zero simple that looks good 
all right everything is working fine now we'll work on our second function and that is going to be for saving the image for downloading the image right so for that we're going to be selecting our save variable and we'll be adding an event listener to our save variable once the user clicks on the save button what we are actually going to do is we are going to be calling a function in this function we'll first prevent it as default because we don't want our page to be refreshed once our page is reloaded what is going to happen all of the details will be gone because we are not saving it in our database right so we'll just prevent it as default and we're going to create a variable of image source in this image source variable we're going to call our cropper then we're going to get our dot get cropped canvas so now we are going to select the image and we are going to be getting a cropped canvas for cropping the image for zooming the image and many things else and then we are going to be having a curly braces in which i'll be adding a width inside this function and the width is going to be the image width that will be displayed so the value we're going to be selecting for the image width input so i have selected the value over here and we'll be ending it by a comma Okay, it's simple. If you have don't, if you don't understand it, I will explain you once again. We are calling a get cropped canvas that we're getting from the script file that we have imported in our HTML, and after that, we are setting a width. Once the user saves the image, right? Once the user saves the image, we want the result image, the image results to change the width and the height as per our decision. We can change it by selecting the value in this input, and that value I've selected and set it to my get cropped canvas great and then what we are actually going to do is we're going to be setting it to the data url okay great then i will be selecting my cropped and i will be removing the class list from here and that class is going to be the height class i will be removing out from here same thing i will be removing the class from my image result to display it right so dot class list dot remove height class from the image result box then i will be selecting my cropped and set its source to image source after that i will be even removing the class from my download button so i'll be selecting my download button and i'll remove the class out from here after that i will be adding a functionality to this download button so for that i'll be selecting my download button dot i will be adding a download functionality over here and the image by default will be downloaded with the name of image name dot png anything you can go with by default i will be going with this name then i will be setting an attribute to my button so i'll select my button a download button and i will set it it's an attribute and that is going to be an href for setting the image value right so the image source will be set up over for the href link great perfect guys we are all set with our javascript code in which you have learned how we can actually upload our image display our image add a cropper to our image to edit the image how we can save our image how we can download our image and how we can change the height and the width of our image. All right, guys, that's great. Now to make our cropper look good and to display our image in our front end, once the user has selected, we are going to be adding some of the stylings as we have added a functionality to display the image in our front end, but to display it in a proper way, we are going to be adding a styling to it. So let's open our CSS file over here. And now we are going to be selecting our page in our page. We are going to be adding some margin. Actually, I'm not going to be explaining every single line of code in detail. It is not going to be a good idea because CSS is going to be simple for adding over here. So I will be just like normally writing a code for understanding what styling is used for what line of specific HTML code.
all right guys so now we are all set with our stylings we have done successfully our styling we have done with our javascript code and our html code now it's time to test our application whether it is working or not and show you a demo of it so we have a beautiful looking upload file button over here once we click on that we're going to be selecting an image here is my profile image i'll be selecting it and boom guys as you can see our image is being displayed over here in a good and a proper way with this beautiful css code which you can see over here and the image is being displayed in front end with the help of the javascript functionality over here you can see we are having this cropper which is a javascript library that we have used for editing our image we can even zoom in our image we can zoom out our image it depends on our decision okay and we have this cropper we can just crop this size of image we can even crop this image we can crop this section any kind of a section from the image we can adjust the width once our image is saved so i'll show you an example i'll just get my face and my baby's face over here like this uh, like this and like this that's it that looks cool great now once i click on save as you can see my image is saved on the right side this is my saved image and this is my editor this is my image editor and this is my image save that i've saved my image from so now if i want to adjust the size i don't want the size of the image to be 300 i want the size of the image to be 100 i'll set the value to 100 and once i click on 100 its value needs to be changed but the 100 is the minimum let's go with 500 let's press enter and let's click on save as you can see the image size is changed to 500 that means the, now the image width is bigger but if i just set it to 150 and click on a save button as you can see now the saved image is looking small and the size of the image is small once i download it but i will download the image size in 200 width so i'll just select 200 so as you can see we selected our image we edited our image we cropped our image we saved our image we changed the width of our image as per how we want like for example you are having a logo you can edit it you can change the height width of your logo as per your decision like if you want the logo size needs to be like 200 you can set it and you can click on save and now if you want to download the image just click on this beautiful download button and your image will start downloading as you can see over here once i click over here here is my image as you can see this is the image that i downloaded that looks really really cool all right guys so in this video you have learned how you can create a upload crop save and download image uploader with pure javascript if you like the video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and yes guys the source code link will be provided in the description below you are free to use it you're free to make changes but do subscribe to my second youtube gaming channel don't forget that all right guys and i will see you in the next amazing tutorial video till then peace